Hello fellow van lifers and camper enthusiasts. Welcome to the Fern Gully Tour. Fern Gully is a Ford E450 V6 diesel. She was a utility truck when we got her and then we camperized her. So the beautiful painting mural and all of the camperization features are uh, fully custom done by us. So we'll start here at the rear storage compartment of Fern Gully. As you can see, she's got double barn doors and it makes things super accessible, whatever you store. Here is the storage compartment. So we did coat the interior of the doors with a latex paint that is rubberized and waterproof. We've laid some linoleum in the back and she did get refinished when we moved out of her. Uh, the bottom there can fit about two Rubbermaids deep, two Rubbermaids on top of each other, and about three wide. So you can sit a solid uh, dozen back there. And then you've got full height. Um, on the upper bit, we put in a racking system when we lived in here, and we would hang our snowboards, skis. We can even stick bikes back there, and then we would strap our kayaks on the outside. So definitely a storage compartment that can suit all of your outdoor adventure needs, gear needs, or tools. Moving around the side here, make our way to the front door. So these are a custom step that we got and a uh, little dog just popping in to say hi. So these do fold up and tuck fully away under there. Uh, we had a welder actually install them so they're super solid. Back there you can see the truck battery so it's really accessible when the steps are out which is also a nice feature. Moving into the front door here. So this is a resistance hinge door so as you can see it holds itself open, is nice and quiet, can handle a little bit of wind. Um, so you can set the door at whatever state you want it in which is also really nice. And then we've got the screen door of course, super helpful for summertime adventures. Moving into the unit, come into sort of the main space here. So we've got a little key nook and shoe rack on the bottom there. Here is the kitchen. So the plumbing is split between the sink and the shower right next to it. And the water heater space is just below. Uh, you can also fit a fresh water tank in front of this if you wanted to go off grid or hook up to city main. We've also got a bar fridge there that fits in nicely in front of all the plumbing and more storage on the side so you can utilize it either to recline the driver's seat there or when we were in here we actually installed a couple of shelves in there and used it as kitchen storage. Got some nice refinished maple countertop and a backsplash. All of the windows, so there's one here and then there's what two in the back in the bedroom. So we did custom order all of these windows. They are a double pane winterized RV window with a dark tint. So super nice, you can't see into the unit, um, but you can look out just great and it's nice for winter camping. Here we've got the cab and the cab over. Um, so we refinished this with a tile up top and um, we actually, when we lived in here, we put a bracing system on the front and utilized the space as like a pantry. It was amazing how much storage we could fit in there. We've got a basic E450 double passenger crew cab there for the driving side. And then spinning around to the fire nook. So there it is. Uh, this is the Cubic Mini Grizzly Cub wood stove and does have the custom piping with it. Also comes with an H pipe. Uh, the Cubic Mini wood stove is really great. Uh, the wood pieces are about three to four inches long. And as you can see, we put metal flashing along the back and we did also seal it with a heat resistant caulking. And we installed a hot plate station right there on the side so that you can transfer from the wood stove uh, over to the holding plate with ease. And then the silver flashing also continues down 
Um, so this way you can utilize the space to dry wood. Uh, we had a rack system that we put here and actually would dry like mitts and whatnot during the winter. And then we put our wood to season in this nook. And then you've got more storage for, uh, we would have a wood bin down there when we lived in here. So a nice staging system that we really enjoyed. Back around to sort of the foyer area where there was the uh, shelving there. You also have your like seating bench um, and a shelving unit in behind there that was custom made. Obviously everything was custom made in here. Uh, <laughs> So uh, you can use this as a step to get up into the bed area, uh, sit on it. We actually used to hang a table from the two rafters on the ceiling here. Um, and then you could have a hanging sort of bar area or you can do a fold out. And then the bed we actually raised a bit higher than what is normal. Um, so the step is definitely helpful, but this also gives you a ton of under bed storage area. So we put a wardrobe on wheels in here for a time, and then we decided that rubber maze were just easier because you can just stack them in there. And same with under the bench here. So lots and lots of interior storage. The bedroom area actually fits up to a California King. So double twins in here if you want, a queen with some wiggle room, even up to a king. It's totally up to you. And then you can see we've got the winterized windows, and we opted for the largest window we possibly could back here. You can also see in the corners that we actually installed some two by fours and actually framed out the bed area. Um, so this helps with less shifting of the box to help protect the windows from cracking, but also it protects the bed area for any overhead fall. So if a branch falls on the van in the night, you're not going to get that crinkle as much over the bed and keep you nice and safe at night. And then you can see we've got another max air fan here. So we've got one above the bed. And then we've got another one in the kitchen. So these Max Air fans are the dual way fan. Um, so you can have them blow in or out. Uh, van lifers in Arizona, we found we're using this instead of air conditioning units so it can keep it nice and cool in the winter, or sorry, in the summer and in the winter when we have the wood stove on, if you get um, smoke backing up, it can cycle the air in here in under eight seconds. The wiring for it, we had them hooked up to a solar battery because we were off grid most of the time in here. So you can hook it up to a battery. You can also hook it up um, to main power source. It's really up to you how you want to customize it. And then finally, we're in the bathroom. So we've got the shower. This shower head is an RV shower head. So you can turn it off in the handle there. So instead of having to reset the hot water, you can just end up shutting it off right there. Um, so you can conserve some water while you're showering. And then in behind this curtain, we have the nature head composting toilet. Uh, we would use coconut core in here. Um, the urine compartment gets emptied about every day, every other day, and you can get away with about once a month-ish for the uh, toilet compartment, um, depending on how much you use it. We didn't find we had any smell. It was super comfortable to use, and it just pulls right out into the bathroom if you want to utilize it, and you can tuck it away when you want to use the shower. And we do have the folding door there for the shower so it seals up the shower really well and then when you're done showering you can pump the air out using these amazing fans so this is the interior of Fern Gully uh, we super enjoyed living in her she was a really comfortable van life experience and we hope that whoever adventures in her next enjoys her as much as we did thanks folks